Donald Trump is launching a social media app. Uh, it's due to launch in 2022. And it's just been announced that Trump has raised one billion dollars, 755 million to back this freedom of speech app called Truth. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. There's a few things I want to announce and share. And I think there's some valuable lessons in this. Whether you love Trump or hate Trump, social media is polarizing us. Some would argue that freedom of speech is being taken away. You can get deplatformed. There's cancel culture. Others argue, well, you can't just say what you want on Facebook because it's Facebook's app. It's their platform. You wouldn't go to someone else's living room and take a wee on their rug and say that it's OK because you needed the toilet. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. OK, so important news. Donald Trump is launching a new social media channel called Truth. And, um, and I know that's annoying, but I'm just saying. So he's just announced that he's raised $1 billion or about to tie the deal done, entered into agreements. $1 billion, 755 mil to back the app called Truth for Freedom of Speech on social media. The Trump Media and Tech Group is working to launch a social media app called Truth early 2022. It comes as Mr. Trump remains banned from Twitter and Facebook following the attack on US Capitol in January. So obviously, um, well, I say obviously you may not know, but Trump got deplatformed from Twitter, deplatformed from Facebook, lost 90 odd million followers on each channel. Let me know if you think that's right or wrong, by the way. I think there's some really valuable lessons in that. And I'm going to share those valuable lessons with you in a moment. So stay with me. And this is a quote from Trump here. One billion dollars sends an important message to big tech that censorship and political discrimination must end. What do you think about that? So Mr. Donald Trump is going for big tech. But won't he become big tech? I don't know. <laughs> um, as our balance sheet expands, Trump Media and Technology Group will be in a stronger position to fight back against the tyranny of big tech. And I guess he's going to try and promote that on as many channels as he can. Mr. Trump announced plans to launch Truth social media platform earlier this year, saying it would allow conversation without discrimination on the basis of political ideology. Now, do you think social media platforms have got political? Do you think it's right if anyone could you know, be deplatformed or cancelled? Does that damage our freedom of speech or should we be respectful on the channels that we're on? I'm not sure you should be allowed to say anything you like. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, some lessons here. Number one, you could be cancelled at any time. You could be hacked at any time on any of your social channels and lose your entire following and your reach and your impact. So actually, truth, launch, uh, truth launching, Donald Trump launching his own platform kind of makes sense if you think about it, if you're Donald Trump. If you can't leverage other people's platforms, create your own platform. So many of you might not yet be in the pa uh, position to build your own social media app. But do you have access to your followers, your fans, your clients and your community directly? If TikTok or Instagram or Facebook shut you down or cancelled you, would that be over for you and your business? Because we're in this sort of paradoxical time where if you have a retail, physical, local business, then you could get really hurt if there's another lockdown or we're forced to wear masks or... Um, unjabbed people can't go out, which is actually happening now in some countries. But on the other side of it, being on social media and creating recurring income online and leveraging the internet, this is a powerful way to own your own freedom. But then if you're on social media channels, you don't actually own access to your followers, your fans and your community. So all of you here that you're following me, unless you subscribe to my Rob's Resources newsletter, if I'm cancelled and deplatformed on all these channels, we won't be able to connect with each other. So actually, it was a really valuable lesson from Trump. And I think even if you don't like Trump, you can probably see why he's doing this. If you can't leverage the platforms, create your own. You need an ecosystem and a way to contact your clients, your followers, your fans, as well as leveraging social media. So um, like Netflix, for example, you know, Netflix, they don't rely on social media or other people's channels to build up 
193 million users to create billions in recurring revenue. They have their own platform. They built their own platform. So if you'd love to build your own platform or have your own platform or have access to your own community and to be able to use the Netflix model to create multiple streams of recurring income, then I've got a gift for you. And it's called the Recurring Income Summit. I think this announcement about Trump and the social media app Truth is a very timely warning of where social media is going. And you will not be able to create recurring income unless you have access to your users for your subscribers base, your community, unless you have your own monetization tools. And you've got to play this dance where you're leveraging Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, but not reliant on them. So the link is robmore.events, E-V-E-N-T-S, for the Recurring Income Summit. Let me put the link in the comments. robmore.events is the link for the Recurring Income Summit, where I'm going to teach you strategies and tactics to be able to reach your own followers, fans, customers, and community, where you're going to be able to build multiple streams of recurring income online, i.e. with subscription models, Yes, I will be teaching you how to um, leverage social media and monetize all the channels, but not be overly reliant on them. Use them, but don't be reliant on them. It's like money. You know, money is a great servant, but a terrible master. So, hey, everyone tuning in. I see you. So, robmore.events is the link for the Recurring Income Summit. Now, get this. I have got the founder of Netflix uh, being interviewed. For the rec I will be interviewing the founder of Netflix for the Recurring Income Summit. Uh, and if you don't have access to users like uh, Netflix do, it's going to be hard to create recurring income. So imagine hearing for 90 minutes the founder of Netflix sharing how to build your own platform or how to access your own followers, fans and community and how to build recurring revenue and income. So the link is robmore.events. I've put it in the comments on the social platforms there. You can see it in the link. Now, in 2022, I will be charging for this event. I often do um, charge for my events, but occasionally give gift tickets away to my loyal fans, community members, supporters, etc. So this ticket is actually subsidized by me. You'll learn 18 different digital online assets that create recurring income and we'll deep dive into five of them. And by the end of the weekend, you will be able to actually turn on platforms and generate recurring income. Why? And I know that's quite a big claim. Why? One, because we're only going to cover low cost and free ways to start building recurring income. Uh, and strategies and tactics that are all online, that are digital assets, that are quick to set up. So these are kind of like the four caveats of the event. You don't need hundreds of thousands of pounds. It's not about building physical real estate that might take months or years to build. So the link is robmore.events, E-V-E-N-T-S, for a ticket to the Recurring Income Summit. Go right now. I can see some people in the comments saying that they've joined. Let me know in the comments when you've joined. And Donald Trump is at it again. Donald Trump is launching a new social media platform called Truth. That's not new. That's coming out in 2022. But he's just entered into agreements uh, to raise $1 billion or 755 mil to back this social media platform. And he is going for the big tech social media platforms. He's gunning for TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. And you know what Trump is like when he goes for something. Let me just um, read you the update. Mr. Trump Media, the Trump Media and Technology Group is working hard to launch a social media app called Truth in 2022. It comes as Mr. Trump remains banned from Twitter and Facebook following the attack on the US Capitol in January. What do you think about people being cancelled and banned and deplatformed? Is that right? Is it wrong? Is there a limit? Is, you know, if you can not say certain things and get deplatformed, is that an impingement on your freedom of speech? Let me know what you think in the comments. Trump's quoted to say one billion dollars. I don't know. It doesn't say it like that. I just am. <laughs> one billion dollars sends an important message to big tech that censorship and political discrimination must end. Hmm. Jem is joined to the Recurring Income Summit. I can see there the link is robmore.events. Is there some irony in this? Trump launching a platform called Truth. Trump saying that he's going after big tech. 
but he's raised a billion dollars to um, market on the stock, to list on the stock market. Does that not make it big tech? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, more quotes. As our balance sheet expands, Trump Media and Tech Group will be in a stronger position to fight back against the tyranny of big tech. Now, um, apparently the social media app Truth will be um, a, pla a social platform allowing conversation without discrimination on the basis of political ideology. That will be an interesting place. Let's see if that works. And based on that, I think you need to leverage social media to reach your followers, your fans, your community, your customers to get global scale. I'm currently live on TikTok and Instagram and also live on Facebook. And I could be recording my podcast and I could be live on Clubhouse. So I'm really grateful for big tech and all the social platforms. But I'm not in control and they could cancel me at any time or I could get hacked. They could decide they don't like my ginger beard with the gray bits in anymore. Bye, Rob Moore. Oh, my haters would love that. And that's why you need to join the Recurring Income Summit. I'm interviewing the founder of Netflix on building recurring income through subscription models. And Netflix have 193 million users. Um, I think about 2 billion in revenue a month when you work that out. So the link is robmore.events. It's in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll um, put it in the top of the comments in Facebook. robmore.events. Go there right now. I have a... A speaker who's worth 700 million who will teach you how to build online digital assets. I believe there's a great digital revolution at the moment. You know, there's cryptos and NFTs and the metaverse. And if you miss out on this great big new web 3.0 land grab, then I think you're going to regret it. I was listening to a podcast this morning of someone who bought the crypto punks for something like $100 for 10 of them or whatever. Um, and then sold them for five grand, then 15 grand, then 80 grand. Now they're worth millions. The metaverse is basically a whole new universe online where you're going to be able to buy real estate in the metaverse. So if you want to learn about all these digital assets, in fact, there are 18 assets you can create online to generate multiple streams of recurring income. Audio books, ads and sponsors for your podcasts and your clubhouse. Um, there's four different ways to monetize just Facebook. There's two ways to monetize TikTok, two ways to monetize Instagram. There's so many ways to create multiple streams of online income. But unless you are on all the social channels, leveraging them, but being aware of creating your own communities like on Discord or WhatsApp or independent platforms like Patreon, unless you have a subscription platform, then you're missing out on this huge opportunity in this digital real estate revolution. So if you'd like to jump on, go to robmore.events, R-O-B-M-O-O-R-E dot E-V-E-N-T-S. I'll see you there. Trump is launching the truth platform. He's raised a billion dollars. He's going for big tech. He wants no discrimination on political ideology. He wants freedom of speech. That's a paradox. Interesting times. But remember, if you're reliant on physical assets, if you're reliant on local businesses, if you don't have multiple streams of recurring income online, COVID 4.0, masks, the unjabbed rules and regulations could really affect your income. You need diverse income streams and you need recurring income streams. And ideally, most of them, if not all of them, need to be online from digital assets. Thank you very much, by the way, for all your kind comments um, in, in the chat. I can see uh, them all kicking off. Let me know what you think about the, the latest news that Trump's raised a billion to launch his app Truth on social media, where he wants no discrimination on the basis of political ideology. Uh, and he wants to attack big tech um, and remove censorship and political discrimination uh, and fight back against the ty tyranny of big tech. See you on the other side. The link for the Recurring Income Summit is robmore.events. Please hit the share button if you think any of my content is useful. If you think any of these sort of, I think these are moral dilemmas that are right, raising right now. You could argue that there is a space for a social platform which just allows whatever to be said and done. You could argue that there has to be a limit. 
You could argue that there's control and discrimination on some apps. You could argue that they're allowed because it's their app. And the irony and the paradox of Donald Trump being the guy that's launching the Truth app, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. So please hit the share button right now. Let's have a chat in the comments about what you think about this. But I really wanted to record this video for you to prepare. There could be Armageddon. There could be another COVID outbreak. There could be another lockdown. There could be masks and unjab rules and regulations. And if you're not building multiple streams of revenue online, if you're not in control of reaching your followers and your fans and your customers and your clients from your devices, you're at major risk. And I don't say that as a threat. I say that as a fair warning. So if you want to overcome that warning and set assets online that are low cost and fast, join the um, digital revolution at the Recurring Income Summit. The link is robmore.events. I'm out of here. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.